Now let's update the workflow to version 3. In this workflow, I use two samplers for the latent upscaling step. It's the same workflow as before. I just added a latent upscaling step before the Seed VR upscaler. Why do we need latent upscaling? The image already looks detailed and realistic. But with latent upscaling, the realism is pushed even further with softer and more natural details. Look at the shiny jacket. The latent upscale adds roughness and texture, making it feel more realistic. Notice the face as well. The sharpening is improved, the eyes look clearer, and the lips show more detail. This result is achieved with the 2K latent upscale. And finally, with the 4K resolution from the Seed VR upscale, let's look at the result. The image is upscaled to true 4K with pixel level sharpness. It brings out even more detail from an already sharp image, while maintaining a natural, native looking resolution. Now let's compare another image. Look at the beautiful, soft image generated by Z Image Turbo. After applying latent upscaling and detailing, the realism is boosted even further. The facial details are sharper and more defined. Look closely at her dress. You can see additional texture and detail coming through. This portrait already looks good on its own, but the latent detailer adds an extra layer of realism that really elevates the final result. Now let's try a hard surface example. With latent upscaling, the car image shifts from looking like a 3D render to realistic photography. Look at the logo details, the creases, and the edges. Even the background detail comes back, along with more accurate reflections on the car body. I originally thought the Seed VR upscale alone was good enough, but the latent detailing boosts realism even further to a truly photographic level. This is the updated workflow if you'd like to download it. I'll post the link on Patreon, since some of you had issues downloading from CVTai. Happy New Year and have a great day.